made it. I'm going to do this one more time, Colonel, and then we're done. Ah. All right, boys. Let's go hunt. We are at war, gentlemen. Our job is to hunt down the most powerful warlord in Libya. 40 feet underground lies his bunker. Something feels off. The target is gone. It's a trap. They're dead. All of them. Why are you here? Revenge. It was supposed to be buried, forgotten. Solve it. Find me Ryder Ward. I have a plan. I'm gonna break the system. Who's behind this? A disgruntled former employee. Find him! So who the hell are you? I'm just a man making a stand for his country. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Hounds of War, streaming on digital right now. It's your boy, Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. Joining me to talk all things Hounds of War is, to me, just a legendary actress. I'm a big fan of hers. She doesn't know this, and I'm saying all these flowery things about her because she's on the screen right now, and I'm so delighted to talk to her. Rona Mitra, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Oh, what a... A lovely intro. Thank you so much. I'm so deeply humbled. It's lovely to me. <laughs> <laughs> I went down the rabbit hole today, just to be honest, because I've been such a fan and was so delighted when I saw you in this film and getting ready to talk to you that I was just curious because I hadn't seen you in a while and I want to talk all things Hounds of War, but I also want to talk what you've been going on because I saw uh, just this amazing foundation that you've started. Uh, you're actually speaking to me from Uruguay right now and I just love what you're doing right now and just so delighted to be talking with you um but, oh lovely <laughs> like but hounds hounds of war can you talk a little bit about you know acting again and acting in this role uh what was it like working on this film um oh gosh I mean you know what it was interesting because like you said I took myself sort of away from the circus for a while to sort of regroup and actually put my energies into things that I deeply care about in a, in a different way, you know, just sort of things that really sort of feed you. Um, and also I think it was just important that I sort of need to sort of regain my identity for myself and figure out really like what I, what I love and what I don't and where I want to put my energy and who I want to work with and what I want to be working on. And when you take a little bit of a step back and you kind of realize that, you know, this industry that I've been so fortunate to be part of for so many years, and especially in the sort of the genre world and the action world, which I love and I love the fans. And there's always been so much genuine love for me there. Um, you know, the stunt world for me, fighting, uh, choreography, um, uh, that element of filmmaking for me has been something that has been a huge, it's very cathartic for me. Um, the people I've worked with in that world, the crew in particular have been a family for me that I've, you know, I never had. And I realized that, you know, the sort of the, the orphanage of the industry, um, the elements that appeal to me are always within the sort of like the stunt and the fight world. You know, of course there's, there's amazing sort of psychological elements to creating characters and all of that sort of stuff. And then there are people who probably I'm sure do it for celebrity and red carpet and all that. And I realized that that's the stuff that I don't like. And what I do like is actually getting onto set and working with really, really, really dedicated people and creating really amazing stuff. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's a million dollar film or a $10 million film or a hundred million dollar film. I like working with the kids who love what they do. And in this particular film, we've got, you know, Isaac Florentine and his incredible team of people. And I was given the invitation to step out of this, you know, thank you for mentioning The Last Ark, which is my orphanage where I, you know, I have, you know, rescue, rehabilitate and rewild horses and dogs. Um, and actually go and put my energy into a character which is doing something oddly similar 
um, in a different world, you know, even though if she comes from a world of mercenaries, I don't know, maybe the film industry is a little bit like that. It's a bit of a war zone. It can be at times. Um, a little bit dangerous, a little bit mad, some crazy characters. And she creates a sanctuary. And it was like, how bonkers is this? This character is a woman who's taken herself out of this world. She's created a sanctuary. And now she's being invited back into it. And I was like, how strange. And I also, I know Frank. We've worked together before. So the elements were oddly similar, um, and I took it as a bit of a sign, it, you know, shooting in Malta, um, it's away from the nonsense of Hollywood. It's in a world which is so culturally diverse, working with crew from all over Europe, got to travel, got to meet new people, smell new smells, taste new tastes. And, you know, basically have the opportunity to, you know, approach this industry from a very different place, from a place of being much more centered and much more whole. But, you know, being able to work with these incredibly creative, brilliant choreographers and do well by them, you know, to see whether or not I can still do that. You know, it's like, you know, I just like, oh, can I do the fighting thing still? And I, I think, I think I, I think I can. So it was a relief to be able to sort of walk onto set with no rehearsal time and be given the choreography and hopefully try and pull it off. So it was it was a nice reintroduction back into the the fight world, if you like. Oh, I love that. And I love that for you. Again, after when I started doing my research, you know, after the fact of uh, seeing the film and then learning what has happened to my amazing Rona Mitra and, Aww. you know, what you found for yourself. I love that for you. And it's just so powerful and so brave. And uh, oh, and then to, to see how you got this role and it kind of plays into where you're at now in your stage of life. I, I just love that. That's just what we all endure to have and achieve and uh, just so happy for you. Um. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. You know what? I think is really important as the world goes on and as we all kind of like kind of get the balance of what's important and we prioritize things. It's really great to have been hurt, you know, be told by fans and, and, and young girls and women like, oh, I love the character in this. I love Sonia. I love, you know, uh, Ava, whatever it is. And they love the characters they love. And I realize actually, you know, what we're looking for is that we create these heroes on screen. But if we're not playing that and we're not living that in our real lives, what example actually are we setting? We're creating untangible he heroes and heroines in a fictional world. And, you know, it's not that I set out deliberately to like, well, you know what? I need to go and do this in my own world. I, I intrinsically needed to do it for me yeah, in no. this life because I've got this energy. We have this energy. We have the courage. We have the heart. We have the tenacity. We just need to apply it. And so I just went ahead and did it. And now I'm able to, you know, share that and have it be an example, hopefully, in the real world for little girls to go, oh, wow, OK, it doesn't require a makeup department or a costume department or a script. We can be sort of, you know, these real life heroes and in, in this real life existence and then get to do these wonderful things where we get to play with each other and create the fiction alongside it, you know. But so that's that's sort of, you know, where where I think I think life gets more interesting when we actually get to live these characters in real time. I definitely love that. So you're dropping so many gems right now, Rona. It's just virtues and just ideals that we should all hopefully strive and live up to. And just, ah, you're so amazing uh, in, in every way. Um, I think my uh, biggest thing is I'm like, I'm hoping this isn't the last I see of you uh, acting now. I know you're, you know, right now you're living with your horses and you want to just, that's everything I was reading your whole about me on your website, which I'm gonna have on the link below. Check out the last art orphanage. Um, just like, are we going to see more work, hopefully, if that's where your journey takes you? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the, the idea. You know, I, I I try to be careful about what comes, you know, I have to, you know, I have to, everyone's going to make a living, man. I wish that I could say it was as flippant as like, oh, gosh, let me see if I can cherry pick whether I do or I don't. It's always an invitation. You know, if I'm invited in to do something and the elements are right, I'm going to do it. You know, there's been a few things that I've just had to say no to because I don't want to perpetuate, you know, certain things. You know, I don't want to do nudity anymore. I don't want to do vapid stuff anymore. I don't want to do stuff that doesn't feel like I'm going to grow in it. 
you know, to give two or three months of the energy, you know, that where you're not growing and you're not being able to contribute something that's beautiful and something that's meaningful. Like life is precious. I just want to be able to make sure that when I'm waking up and finishing my day, I've I've achieved and contributed something. And, you know, not all scripts and not all sets are like that. And I think that in our lives, we have to be able to be brave enough to say no, as well as say yes. So listen, man, if you put it out to the universe and send, you, you know, the, 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 the fairies out there to send me the roles where I get to play and work with people who are grateful you know it's so important to be working with people that are grateful for me you know who love what that and that's the reason why you know these movies which have a lot of you know fight stuff the irony is is that they are the safest most loving sets because stunties and fight fight choreographers are, are the most beautiful people they're the most disciplined they're the most humble and and I will keep on doing action films as long as you know I get the opportunity because of those people you know, that's what does it for me. I love it. Well, I'm gonna put that energy into the universe. Universe, please, Rona. Mm -hmm. I, I have become even more of a super fan from this conversation. You are everything. Thank you so much for your time and just wishing you nothing but the best. And everybody, uh, I'm gonna have links to Rona uh, in the description below, but check out The Last Ark Orphanage, just, just this amazing, Thing that she is doing out there in Uruguay. And uh, please, let's get her on more roles and with some action stuff. Uh, Rona, you are just absolute <laughs> best. I love you. Everybody, love you. Hounds of War is on digital right now. Go check it out. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. Rona, thank you, darling, thank you much. so much. You are the best. Thank you. So much love. Back at you, sweetheart. Much Definitely. love to you. Okay. Take care. See you soon, Bye. I hope. Bye, love. Bye. Excellent. Thank you so much. Hello, Rona. It is a pleasure to chat with you. Hi. How do I pronounce your name? Kuya? Uh, yes, I go by Kuya. My my real name is Patrick, but I go by Kuya. Oh, okay. Hi. One, nice to meet you. A pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, likewise. All right. So I'm going to count us in to help me with my edit, and we'll get right into it. Go for All it. All right. Here we go. In a one, two, three.